Hey guys, Phil here. Today we're looking at installing MQTT or Mosquito, which is a lightweight connectivity protocol which you can use to control some smart things around your house. I'm going to be installing MQTT on my Synology NAS, but I'm going to be using Docker. So if you have a system that's running Docker, you can use these same commands I'm going to be using today. So let's go ahead and SSH into our Synology NAS. I have logged into SSH and I'm just using the username root because I'm on DSM5. If you're on DSM6, you can use the same commands I'm about to use, but just prefix all the commands with sudo. So first of all, we need to create some directories where we're going to store the MQTT settings, such as configuration and any data that we want to persist as well. So let's go ahead and create those with the mkdr command. And I'm going to use the dash p flag just to create any child directories. So we're going to go Now obviously if you, you can choose wherever you want to place the folder on your system, that's where I've chosen mine. So we need one for config, one for data, and another one for logs. Now before we go ahead and get onto our docker run command, we are going to need to add in a configuration file. So the Docker container we're using is from Toke. And as you can see here, it's Toke Docker Mosquito. And it's just on GitHub. It's available for anyone to use. We're going to go into just into the config. There's an example file here. And we could copy all of this if we want to. But instead, I'm just going to copy and paste this one. It's nice and small. Everything else seems pretty copy that then we're going to create a file called mosquito.conf in the same folder for example here I'm using winscp on windows as you can see here it's in volume 1 docker mqtt config which is the same directory where I created just before with this command and I'm creating a mosquito.conf file and literally just pasting in that content from git the only change I am making though is I'm just commenting out this include directory. Uh, you can put stuff in here if you'd like to. As you can see here on GitHub, there's a folder here where you can put in anything extra like WebSockets or anything like that. I don't have a use for that. If you do, leave it uncommented. I'm going to comment it out for now. Save that file and then we'll go back into our SSH window. And we're going to run the docker run command. We'll give it a name so that if we need to stop or restart the service in the future, we can easily do that. The restart always flag is a handy one just in case your machine reboots or anything. As soon as docker comes back online, it will attempt to restart this MQTT service for us. And we're going to add the net equals host just to give it complete access to our host network. I'm running Home Assistant through my Synology NAS, so that's one of the quirks I have to deal with. So that's why I'm using that flag. Otherwise, you would use a dash P flag and specify the port you want to open. I'm not going to do that today. And then I'm going to make sure I run these. The D in that flag there will just make sure that when we run it, it returns our session console back to us and now we're going to mount the volumes that I've specified above the first one the config directory with the config directory we need to give it read-only access so I'm going to specify So that's where it needs to sit inside the container and read only access there. And 
same thing except for the data and log they need write access. So we'll just use the standard dash V flags for those. And finally, now that we've got all those volumes set up, we need to tell Docker which image we want to run. So we're going to use the token image as I showed you before. It has changed uh, on the Docker Hub. So we're going to use toke forward slash mosquito with two T's. And when we press enter, we now have our mosquito broker up and running. So that's it running Docker. So now how do we test that? There's a free program called mqtt.fx, which you can use to connect to any MQTT broker. So let's go ahead and configure one here. As you can see, it's got a couple of default local mosquito settings. We need to create a new connection or new profile here, and we'll call it our MQTT. You need to put in the IP address of your server that's running MQTT, where we just did that Docker run command. Mine is 1.3 on my network here. Uh, everything else should be fine. And now if we hit the connect button here, we are now connected. And so straight away we've got publish and subscribe here. Let's just test. So here we have home garden fountain. So it looks like a default test topic. Let's subscribe to that. And there's no messages here at this stage. So let's take this and under publish, on this side, let's publish a message. And we'll just say, hello world, publish. And if we go back over to the subscribe tab, here you can see the message we've just subscribed to. And then we can disconnect. And that's it. We now have a local MQTT broker running through Docker all on our Synology NAS. Now we can go ahead and use Home Assistant or anything else to communicate over the MQTT broker. Okay guys, that's going to cover it for today. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below next to that subscribe button. I'll also have a link to my blog post in the description where you'll find all the commands I use today, which you can copy and paste from. Thanks for watching.